welcome to Tyler's tutorial in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make stairs so uh, making stairs we have two types of stairs that are generally used in our homes that is the straight one or the spiral one so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the straight one so first choose a space where you are going to make for example I'm going to make in the lobby and in this section I'm going to make the stairs so um, I choose uh, now first we have to determine how high your building is to make the stairs like so you can go to the story and you can see the story height like in my case it is 2.8 meter so first you need to calculate like uh, the general step height in uh, in my country is uh, 2 point, uh, 0 0.82 uh, meters or that is 8 inch so in my case 2.8 meters divided by 0 0.2 meters which keep brings to me to 14 steps now I need to make a stairs that has 14 steps in it so first I go to my lobby view that is my only the view in here and now I go as my uh, this area the stairs is going to be in the behind so I choose the view from view from behind or the view from the right side so I'm going to make stairs in here so I first of all I draw reference grid and from the corner let's make the stairs in this corner and make this trail reference grid all the way to the top as you can see it is the width is 7.781 2.781 so let's make 2.8 meters we have got the 2.8 meters now we have the distance x now let's see how width is going to be at each stairs like the stairs uh, let's make it 0 0.3 meters and the height of the stairs like we have calculated 0 0.2 so we get the grid uh, like this in here now after you have got the grid you can go to uh, make objects uh, sorry objects and draw extortion body and now you can like the extortion body now go along the grid like this will be my stairs mm, sorry I made it in the wrong direction so I'm going to draw it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. From here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh step. Okay. So you can see the stairs is not here. The stairs has gone to this side. So you go to story one view. Okay, it's not in here. So you go to building view. Or you can go in the fourth floor plan view. You can see the stairs has gone to this side. So bring it to your. Mm, let me see what is this. Okay, so let me do the, all the cutouts also which I made previously. Okay, so move it all the way to the side. Now uh, you have to make uh, a small space for the stairs like uh, this one, the ramp or the platform in which you are going to take a round like step. So you go to the 3D floor plan view, the lobby. So you can see there you have this stairs. I'm going to the view, like make uh, now calculate leave one meter for the other stairs. Okay, so I've got till up to here. Now for easiness, you can also draw the reference line. I'm going to draw it of one meter and move it. So now let's insert the ramp. So you can draw extortion volume body the same way. And let, let us make it from this side. Now it is 1.997. So 
let's make it two meter okay now you can like see it's in here so let's make it now 0 0.2 as of our stairs and increase the height to mid level like we have a 2.8 meter right it should be 1.4 but you can see it went one step higher so we make it 1.2 to make it in the balance now we can see it, this one is made now we'll go to your right side view okay so now we have got the grid again mm. move the grid a little bit to make it okay so now Mm, you can see that the stairs is in here so now draw new stairs and body and it start your stairs from here one two three four five six seventh step so you go like this one two three fourth fifth step sixth and seventh step okay now you go to your fourth floor plan view step is in here move it to this side and now just have a look now we have already made a stairs now after making stairs you have to insert a cutout in here so insert the cutout from this place rectangular cutout do it again you can adjust it afterwards like make it anyway pull it to this side okay so now you have your stairs ready you can see now you have your stairs ready and so now you may be wondering how to make railings as you have to make the railings to the stairs too so let's make some railings so to make railings now you have to insert go to the floor plan view you have railings from this side and all the way to the top on this side let me confirm that again okay insert now insert some select vertical column okay now it will be of 0 0.05 0 0.05 pull it onto this side make it in straight now uh, go to this one copy and arrange copy along a line on this too Okay, we are going to make railings to here. Okay, so now you can see. Now, where is it? Don't think so, it has been copied. So, now let's copy again. Copy along a line. Okay, now two. How many do we One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven steps, so seven. apply so we have got seven in here now okay so I think the height is not adjusted so let's make it 0 0.8 meter and copy again check 0 0.8 meter and now you can see the railings in here this one let's get it to top and now copy along on the fence line okay now we are going to have seven apply so you can see now what you need to do is move it to this one so we are going to have it in 1.4 meter 1.4 okay now after we have done this again go to copy and arrange 
and select other one and touch it again so all of them are selected and do this distribute independently and uh, we have got a railings now to insert and read in the railings you just insert a column or you can again go to the floor plan this view and insert in body plus polygon so this will only be rounded C okay so it's very big so we can make it only 0 0.1 or 0. 0.080 maybe not okay for handrail and a good floor plan view and move it along that okay wait I think we have more of handrail in here so delete just one and move it you can align in your project I'm just going to leave it like this so now you can see the handrail is made and you can make it in similar manner in the other states now you can see how to make spiral in my other tutorial thank you for watching and you can uh, ask any questions related to dialogues at my email provided below